So that's the first 100 done. And I've chalked up a board that ticks off every 100 or every 50, so I can just take it off. This is the sort of zone where when people are trying to get healthy or lose weight, often they get really wrong because what they do is they decide to take on every single part of what healthy looks like, okay? Instead of taking small chunks. First and foremost, I would work on your sleep, you know, your sleep and your nutrition. Get those two ready, and then you can start to build from there. That's what I'm doing here, slowly building momentum, certain chunks at a time. Okay, that's 200 down. And in terms of where my head's at, I'm just starting to look over towards the board and slowly but surely tick things off one, one bit at a time. Currently I'm doing the reps of 25, but I will break that down to probably reps of 10, maybe 15, maybe even five sometimes, just to make this more achievable. Much like your diet, much like your health journey. If things become too big, too expansive, and your brain starts to get filled up with too much, too much information, break things down to little small chunks and hit them. Okay, 300 down, okay? Where am I at? What journey are you at in terms of where your health is? You know, you might be at a 12 week program, you might be at week three, and you might be struggling, you know? You've done really well in weeks one and two because you've taken on the real easy options. You're just gonna sleep better, you're gonna eat better. But now in week three, they've put in something else. They've put in some, you know, some other exercise, some body weighted stuff, and it started to play with your head, okay? This is the small struggles that you go through on a health journey. It's about where your mindset goes and how you can compartmentalize it and put it into little separate um, boxes throughout your day or weeks that you're doing. Also, another thing which is vital at about 200 mark, just after we ticked off 200, started raining, okay? That's just gonna start playing with your head. Why not to go down to the gym, okay? Right now, we're during COVID-19 and no gyms are open, but you know, at this time, when you've got gyms and so forth open in the future, this is when the dark excuses start coming out. Will I get out the door, put my shoes on? Little things like that there, that hold you back from getting where you really wanna get to. So, 400 down, okay? This is a very, very common place for people to not kick on with their, with their health goals or with their training or with their, with their overall arching reason of why they wanna do it. When this sort of thing happens, okay, go back to the reasons why you wanted to start or for the people that you wanted to do it for. That's my tip, okay, because right now at 400, knowing I've got 600 to go, the people that really count, you know, Obviously, you know, Chelsea and Leo and people like that there, the other people that are gonna motivate you and help you through your journey, motivation is that first 30%. And then you need other people, other pillars of support to get you there. So if they're not physically here with you, know that they're up here and that's the reason why you wanna kick on and get the rest done. Let's be honest, it's never just about yourself. 500, 500 down and right now, what people start to do is they start to forget about what really worked in that first 30% of your program. Always, every single time, your nutrition, you're excited, you, know, you wanna get on board with it, and you are on, you're tracking, everything's there. And then the little golden nuggets are making sure that you sleep well, and potentially get in some exercise, if any exercise, okay? But at the start, nutrition is first and foremost. Everyone's nailing it. You get to about halfway and you, you get excited about the halfway point, maybe you check in or something. But there's little bits and pieces that have fallen off along the way. This is what often happens, okay? Go back to what, what really started, what really worked, sorry, at the very start of your program. Always and every single time, nutrition was pro pretty much on point. Six hundred. 600 down, okay, so let's, let's call this week six. Week six of a 10 week program, for instance. Where are you, where are you in your head? What are the things that we start to look for? And one thing we always look for is um, inspiration. Now, inspiration comes in many different things. Could be from people, 
could be different things. It might be something you want to buy in the future after you get down to a certain weight or something, but social media and inspiration, please be very careful about who you decide to follow and whether or not they are the person you truly want to be or the person they just look like they are. Okay, inspiration is awesome. It might get you out of bed and get you down to the gym and maybe get you to do that extra little thing or might, it might get you to prepare your food. Those inspirations are good, but be very, very careful about who is your inspiration and are they at a level where you think you can get or you want to get or are they too far out of reach? Super important. Think about it, take it on. 700 in the bag so far. And where are we? Let's say we're on week seven. Okay, this is often where a plateau will sit with so many people. One of the biggest factors for that is when you guys go on to challenges and things like where you've just been given a straight up nutrition plan and the nutrition plan is the same all the way along. You gotta hit this. Here's an example. You might have been eating 2000 calories every day for the last five years and then you decided to hit a challenge of some sort and then you've been handed a 1500 calorie diet that you've got to stick to. Now, for the first three weeks, yes, you kicked it and you were losing weight like mad. Then it got a little bit boring, you went off track, then you come back on, you're better, but now you're at week seven and nothing's really changing. You might be getting fitter, but nothing is really changing. That's why diets and nutrition are evolving the whole time. As your body composition changes, this is when your nutrition needs to change with it. Often, you need to go up in food to keep getting the weight loss that you're actually looking for. Okay, so week seven, plateaus happen and there's always a very good reason for it. Uh, 800 down, okay, so 800 down. Again, to put it into context with our 10 week challenge, let's call it, you get to that stage where, yes, it's exciting about what's gonna happen at the end and where you're going and if you're on track or if you're not on track, but one thing you need to do is to reevaluate your goals, you know? Adaptability is key, okay? So if you can adapt and change and, and keep creating, you can change your goal as you go. Like you might have already outdone yourself or you might have overcooked it at the start. Pull it back, make sure you get onto that success path again and start again, okay? So on these last two weeks of your sessions or of your of your challenge, if you wanna put it, um, make sure you reevaluate -evalu you re your goals and make sure that it's something that you can do. How important is that? To actually achieve something, nothing better. Reevaluate and go again. All right, nine, 900, 900 completed. Out of a thousand, week 10. I can't reiterate enough. Go back to what you did at the start. Look at your nutrition, track your nutrition, Make sure you actually educate yourself on what food's doing what for you, what's supplying you with energy, what's supplying you with gas, what's making you feel bloated, um, what proteins are working for you, um, what's creating you to have good sleep, are you having carbohydrates at night, are you completely off carbohydrates, what is that doing to you, hormonally or energy wise is probably the best way to think about it, and also how is it affecting your sleep. Go back to the start, what worked for you? You were doing certain things that made it work. So go back to it, reevaluate, re and then go again. You're in the last week, okay? This is when motivation has, is, is gone, but excitement starts to kick in as you get to the end point. But the end point is just you learning about what works for you. Then your behaviors need to kick in for a lifetime. Just completed a thousand reps, a thousand burpees. And I did it not for the physical element, but to Australia, to illustrate really what really goes on in most people's own challenges in their own heads, okay? So those top two inches, you know, throughout all of my rugby career, it, you know, 20% physical and 80% uh, top two inches and knowing that you can get through, especially those last five minutes. And when it comes to a program, when it comes to your own personal goals, you're gonna go through peaks and troughs 
throughout the whole thing. It's understanding your self-awareness of what's working, what's not working, you know, who's backing you, who's giving you the advice, what is your inspiration, when you hit a plateau, what do you do, okay? Often, it's about just getting the basics right. I have never done anything which is extraordinary in my whole life. I've just been very good at the basics and now it looks after me and my body. And my inspiration comes from, you know, I've got a beautiful little son, as you guys probably know. He is my inspiration. He keeps me going. He keeps me pushing me forward. Find something that's a value that's bigger than yourself and you will get through it. Okay, but you do need to reevaluate on the journey. And it's not just about a 10 week program, it's about your 12 month throughout each year. You know, can you physically be a little bit better each year? Can you mentally be a little bit better? Can you socially be a little bit better? Can you spiritually be a little bit better? All these sort of health metrics that you need to understand about yourself, it's all about the learning, the journey and understanding. As I say, that was super tough. That last hundred ripped me. Like, seriously, I thought I was just gonna cruise through the last hundred because my mind's good, but my body was breaking down big time. My triceps are killing me. But I got there, I had to break it down into lots of 10, and that's how I got it. Cheers guys, hope you enjoy. Oh.